How's it going? Welcome back to Clutch Time. And today we'll be playing Davion Mitchell, DeMar DeRozan, Branham, Olenek, and McDice. And our team today will be Matisse Thibel, Luke Walton, Detlef Schrempf, Pokushevsky, and Frank Kaminsky. And my team is no money spent. That's just the way we like it because why would we want to give away our money to buy packs on the off chance that we get some great card? The odds of that are always less than 1%. So let's not even try the pack odds. Let's be real. Now LeBron has one year left on his contract with the Lakers before he is set to become a free agent. Granted, if Bronny is a one-and-done type of athlete at USC, LeBron is hoping to be able to play on the same team as his son. And in that case, looking at the direction in which the Lakers are going, do you think he gets traded or do you think he stays? I believe that he might get traded. I really do. You know, I think the Lakers have a lot of free agents. And a lot of guys that they should really re-sign, such as Austin Reeves or Rui Hachimura. I think those two guys really stepped up as the next man up throughout the playoffs. But I think Darvin Ham might be on the chopping block too. If not, he is already on the hot seat. Just whenever you listen to the interviews that he had after games... It was very underwhelming, to say the very least. You know, as, as a fan, if I can't buy into what the coach is saying, I'm not really sure that the players, adults, you know, will buy into what he's saying either. So, should be a very interesting offseason for LeBron James and the Lakers. And do you guys think AD will be a Laker for much longer as well. Because as talented as AD is, it's most important that he stays on the court. And throughout his entire career, I'm not really sure he's really had a full season, 82 games in total. I know there's a lot of load management going on, and that's a huge liability for the Lakers if... They're in a market in which every year is supposed to be a championship year. And granted, the Nuggets won the NBA championships and knocked out the Lakers. It really showcased that LeBron, at his age, can't carry the load of a team throughout the playoffs and throughout the championship as much as he could in years past when he was younger. So... That was a changing of an era, you could say, and very surprising to see. Father time has started to catch up with the king. He is still playing at an elite level, and like he said, it is so true that he is still playing at a level 95% better than the rest of the league, and that is very, very true. It will be an interesting offseason to see, and we win another game of clutch time as we get closer to getting the 98 Galaxy Opal Gordon Hayward. I remember Gordon Hayward with his time in Butler when he almost won the national championship with that backboard bounce shot. And ever since he was with the Jazz, I think that's when he peaked. And that was really exciting basketball to watch. But... After he got hurt with the Celtics, he started to get older and hasn't been able to play at as high of a level as he was able to back in the day. But there we go. If you like this type of content, like and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.